small. We're open. Oh. So these are little eyes. So I don't know how. I was hoping to get little eyes for my next um, um, little animal stuff. So we'll see how these work. It might work really, really good. We'll see. There's some cute eyes here. Sure, cute. I don't know if you can see them. But there's that supposed to be really good detail there. Well, let me get me some soap dough and see if we can get little eyes. An impression of little eyes. I think I've got some black dough right here that I was just playing with. Okay, so we've got some black soap dough. Well, gray. Let's close it up. They do have the little iris and everything. So let's see what we get. Let me just do an impression like that. Yeah, you get the eyes. You can always trim it off. Let's see another one. Let's see if there's one with deeper irises. This one looks pretty intense. That is my dog. My dog is really noisy. <laughs> yeah. There's another little eye. That looks pretty cool. Let's try one of these round ones. These look like owl eyes right here. Very, very cool. So if you're not good with getting things, eyes are one of the things that I struggle with when I paint too. Getting them both the same size for one. Um, so yeah, I love this. Uh, very, very cool. I will be using it a lot, I think. Wow. All right. If you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and come on back to my soapy kitchen anytime. <laughs> All right. Bye for now.